Hello YouTube, Retro Green here again with another recap. Today is February 19th, 2022. It's Saturday. I'm going to do my weekly recap. I'm going to start doing the weekly recap as much as possible. Don't bash me if I skip the weekly recap. This creating video is getting difficult. So anyway, stay tuned. Uh, my PNL for the week is coming up right now. Let me do, disable this. All right. So I kind of blocked off my previous week, so I don't want to get distracted, right? So right here, you see all, my entire week, all the stocks I traded and a PNL for each stock for that day. This is number of trades. This is number of the week of the year. So we're in the seventh week of the year per this spreadsheet. Um, you have a PNL here tracking in the gray boxes for entire day. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Sim simple, right? Simple to follow. It's tracking for me. Um, just kind of give you a perspective how I'm doing for a week and just want to be really transparent with you guys. So just pause here if you want to see the stocks I traded, the kind of average PL, and just my wins and losses for the day. I want to skip, I want to make this video short. By the way, I don't want to make it long. So hit thumbs up if you like those weekly quick recaps and uh, subscribe. It does tell me if you like it or not. So I'll continue doing it or not. So that's how you give feedback, right? So anyway, this is the weekly uh, breakdown. So overall, first of all, this is a monthly breakdown. And I blocked the first two weeks of February because I didn't do those uh, recaps. I'm going to save them for the monthly recap. So stay tuned for the monthly recap as well. So for the for this week, starting February 14th up until February 18th, I'm up $939. So if you sum up all these days, you're, uh, I'm up $939. I was going to be up almost over $1,000 before Friday. And I was excited. I was actually excited coming on Friday. And unfortunately, Friday is the red day for me. It's a it's a first red day for months of February. And as you know, in January, I had one red day. It was a lot smaller red day and that's kind of where my hope was for Friday, this past Friday, is to have a smaller red day I was not anticipating and I was not planning to have. Nobody plans to have a red day. And as you can see, February 15th and February 16th, I'm, I was only up around 90 to $100. So $154 red day in grand scheme of things for entire week is a lot. Okay, disregard the the Thursday because Thursday it's an unordinary day. It doesn't happen often, and when it happens, I think it should have been almost a six thousand dollar day for me. It's um I'm upset it's a six hundred dollar day because I do make money on a, on a momentum. You saw KCP sometimes I'm up uh, nine hundred dollars. You saw my thousand dollar days. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't capitalize that Thursday, and even though we had that crazy momo. So anyway, I feel like representation of this week is Tuesday and Wednesday is a good indication of how this week went. And losing $150, it's higher than the pretty much average between those two days. And that's upsetting. That's upsetting. Uh, it shouldn't go that way and shouldn't be that way because it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a good indication of... Uh, Something's going wrong wrong with this strategy, right? The strategy I'm trading. And I'm not sure. Are, are we are we done with the hot streak as far as scalpers go? Maybe uh, there's going to be a lot of false breakouts, just like we saw on Sky H on Friday. You know, we have these pops, and then they, there's sell-offs right away, and the 20, 30 cent swings uh, halts down, halts up. If you're... If you're late into the halt, if you if you did not get in before that halt, chasing it most likely resulted in a loss. So are we are we in that type of market right now? That's the question. So something just an FYI, guys, something to watch out. I'm glad to be up nine hundred dollars. Unfortunately, I wanted to be a thousand, but it didn't happen. Um, let's keep those losses smaller. Let's keep those wins bigger. You know, and try to be disciplined. You know, I was down sixty bucks. I was down forty bucks at some uh, at some point. Kind of hovered around that area, and I, I think uh, that's where I should have called it quit. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Right? Hindsight twenty twenty. Always good. 
Um, sometimes it works though. Sometimes you try to recover that and being greedy, right? And being aggressive. Sometimes you recover it at least flat. And it happened to me in January uh, for a couple of days where I was able to recover some of the losses. I was down 60 bucks and I brought it back up to $8. So it's a green day for the, for, you know, and, and now that's, that's exactly the mentality I had for Friday and it didn't happen. So I don't want to dwell too much on that Friday, but it is, it is a first red day on, of the month for me. So I do want to dwell on it a little bit because I want it, I want it to stick into my mind that they do happen. Don't get cocky. Don't get aggressive. Be careful. You know, just make sure to take what the market brings you. I did miss the Momo on Friday. I couldn't trade first hour. The market opened, and that's where the majority of the move happened. I didn't trade pre-market, and I was chasing the rest of the day. And uh, it's a long weekend. Market closed on Monday, guys. Anyway, that's it for weekly recap. Stay tuned for daily recaps again and at the end of the month i'm hoping to do a monthly recap guys hope you like this video please hit thumbs up subscribe and i'll talk to you guys on tuesday